Wetwear Media presents Stuff Your Face or Face Your Stuff, Lose Weight by Decluttering Your Life. Written by Dorothy Brenninger and narrated by Janice Dadona. Copyright 2013 by Dorothy Brenninger. This recording is copyright 2013 by Wetwear Media. Introduction, How to Use This Book The ultimate goal of this book is to inspire you to take action in one or more parts of your life that you may be avoiding, especially if you are overreading or obsessing about food because of it. My guess is that you, like me, have tried countless numbers of books, diets, or programs and still find yourself wondering why you continue to gain weight and muddle up your life. Perhaps that is why you were reading this book. No matter what your age, you realize that you need to find an answer, not just to the weight gain, but to other parts of your life that you just don't talk about. You see, I have learned that the messier my home gets, the more my bills pile up, the more phone calls I avoid, or the more times I'm late to appointments, it is seemingly linked to my overeating. It's the stuff we don't want to talk about that's causing us to overeat or make unhealthy choices. Because I am a professional organizer, I liken it to lifting up the clutter to see what's underneath, whether it's others or my own. This book helps you do that. According to new data from the NPD Group, a market research firm, the number of people interested in dieting is down, and the number of people interested in losing weight is up. What to do? Create your own plan. Harry Balzer, NPD's chief industry analyst, says the most popular diet is one that people say they make up, one they call my own diet. Balzer further reports that about a third of people follow a plan of their own. Well, that's just what happened to me. Trial and error. Determination followed by complacency. Embarrassment, then enlightenment. In my five decades on this planet, I have been able to transform my major mistakes into incredible insights for myself. I no longer want to do it all alone. I want to share it with you. Whether you're in a relationship that's not working, you're avoiding paying bills, you're stepping over too much clutter on the floor, or you're stuffing your face with food, today you can begin to look at how you, like me, can face your stuff. One, stuffing it, a recipe for disaster. It was during my third season filming Hoarders. I was asked to fly to a bustling Midwestern town to work with a woman who hoarded.